Coming up on 656, there's breaking news this morning from Syracuse's west side. And Syracuse police say a man is in critical condition after a shooting at a home on Morgan Avenue. Now, officers getting that call just before 3.30 after two men forced their way into a house and then destroyed the place. During that time, the victim walked in and they shot him. Police say both men were reportedly armed with long guns and one was wearing a gray tracksuit and a gold mask. If you have any information that could help police, give them a call at 315-442-5222. The former Syracuse firefighter cleared of evidence tampering in a deadly 27 hit and run on the north side can now return to work. An independent arbitrator has ruled in favor of Ted Ackerman. He was fired by the city last year after he was accused of unplugging surveillance video for his buddy Peter Rausch, who struck and killed 18-year-old Seth Collier on North Salina Street. Ackerman, for the moment, remains suspended, though, until the fire chief and the mayor reinstate him. Well, Anthony Saccone is now facing between 10 and 30 years in prison. He pleaded guilty to aggravated vehicular homicide, driving under the influence, and leaving the scene of a serious crash, a crash last winter that killed three OCC students in the town of Onondaga. His formal sentencing is October. Well, right now, tracking local jobs, around 120 new positions up for grabs as a trading card company will unveil its new headquarters at the galleries of Syracuse. So the big unveiling of their new space will be at 11.30 this morning. And happening today, Oswego's Harbor Fest kicks off for another great weekend of fun. Yeah, a lot of people excited about this. The festival usually attracts around 75,000 people to the Fort City every year. It's free admission and it runs today through Sunday.